Months of mediating between Israel and Hamas could finally be bearing fruit. It's not clear from the ground as the Israeli army continues to pound Gaza, but Hamas says a delegation will deliver the group's response to Israel's latest hostage and ceasefire counterproposal this Monday as it heads to Egypt. A senior official telling AFP it has no major issues after reviewing it. Regional powers are cautiously optimistic. We hope that that proposal is sufficient for the, uh, for the ceasefire to come into place. But even if we have a ceasefire, we still have to deal with the repercussions of the conflict, not just in Gaza, but in the West Bank, beyond, in our region. Meanwhile, Secretary of State Antony Blinken is in Saudi Arabia on Monday as part of another trip to the Middle East. It will also include visits to Israel and Jordan as the US ramps up diplomatic efforts to end the war. That's going to be right at the top of the list for Secretary Blinken to keep pushing for this temporary ceasefire. We want it to last for about six weeks. He'll also be talking to the Israelis about uh, their intentions and their thinking about Rafah military operations and sort of where they are in the, in the planning stages for that. President Joe Biden also reiterated the U.S.'s position on a potential invasion of Rafah in a phone call to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu over the weekend. Talking to local television, Israel's foreign minister said that if a hostage deal is reached, the military will suspend the Rafah operation.